Hi, I'm Laurie Boswell, co-author of Big Ideas Math with Ron Larson. One of the things that I often hear from parents and, and also from teachers, quite honestly, is that they want to make sure that the mathematics that their children or their students are learning is rigorous. And then when I ask the follow-up question, well, what do you mean by rigor? Uh, and sometimes, and actually quite often, uh, from parents, I hear uh, that rigor means it's hard. You know, they'll knock on a wall and they'll say it's really hard. Um, that's not rigor. Uh, the definition of rigor from uh, a standards perspective is that there are three components to it. The conceptual understanding, procedural skill and fluency, and then being able to apply it in a real life setting. So thinking about our definition of rigor, that idea of being able to develop conceptual understanding, we begin with an exploration or an activity. Uh, in the elementary program, we have our dig-ins that then lead into the explore and grow. That's the opportunity for students to really get to know the mathematics, to really explore and experiment uh, with the mathematics that they're going to learn that day. I absolutely love the dig-in portion because it's always like a fun activity that gets the kids interested in what we're gonna do. And it uses all three learning modalities. It uses visual, oral, and kinesthetic because a lot of times it has them up and moving and doing stuff. And as a teacher, it's nice that that is there to get them involved and excited no matter what type of learner you have. At that stage of the lesson, uh, we believe that students have made sense of it uh, during the explore and the dig in, and so now we're making, uh, making clear through the think and grow uh, what the actual mathematics is, what that concept or skill might be, and then ask students to show uh, that they have indeed understood that. We release them to become a little bit more independent at that time. And then it leads to one of my favorite parts, which is the Think and Grow Modeling Real Life, where the students apply the skill for how they would actually use that skill in the real world.